The U.S. descends into a full-scale government hoedown. The space underneath a boardroom table is a complex web of feet massaging various genitals, and a high-powered Washington fixer tells Obama to listen carefully. Playtime is now over, and a far more profound two-minute period of your life has just begun. This is the Onion Week in Review. Following the government's shutdown this Tuesday, petty, short-sighted Americans across the country expressed their outrage at a legislature behaving in a way that perfectly represented their own irrationality and narrow-mindedness. Incensed citizens told reporters it was infuriating to see elected officials becoming divided by uninformed biases, long-standing grudges, and pathetic partisan differences, and noted that this sort of conduct, which exactly mirrored their own, was absolutely unacceptable. I mean, it's an affront to everything this country stands for to see our representatives behaving like shallow, small-minded children. Who do they think they are? According to members of the 1998 University of Virginia graduating class, Governor Jim Gilmore's commencement speech to them continues to be a deep well of wisdom and guidance even 15 years after it was delivered. Classmates confirmed that while friends at other universities heard from such figures as Jimmy Carter, Kurt Vonnegut, and the Dalai Lama, the inspirational words of Virginia's 68th governor continues to profoundly inform their lives and actions. Whenever I face a dark moment in my life, I just think back to Governor Gilmore's speech and it almost instantly puts things back into perspective. It's like he said, go forward and be successful and achieve your hopes and dreams and aspirations. All I can say is I hope I've lived up to that incredible lesson. A group of hostages was freed Thursday night following a tense seven-minute stand-up set at local comedy club The Laugh-Up Lounge, asking if they were feeling good and then reportedly proceeding to subject them to minute after minute of near unendurable torture. It was terrifying. This guy, uh, get yeah, he, he gets up on stage and he says, um, you know, he told us to make some noise if we were drinking tonight. You know, we couldn't leave. We just had to sit there. I was scared to death. I just, I was thinking about my family, my two little girls, my wife, and if I would never see them again, how terrible that would be. It just... And in local news, a five-year-old figures he has about a year left of peeing at urinals with his pants all the way down. In other news, the last thing a government worker needed was his agency to label him non-essential. A linguistics professor tells the Notre Dame leprechaun to sit the fuck down, and David Bowie asks Iman if they should just do lasagna again. You are not done with this video, this video is done with you. If you ever decide to come crawling back, keep checking theonion.com.